Today is the deadline for migrant families seeking shelter in Logan Airport to leave. While this move comes as the state's emergency shelter system has been working at maximum capacity for literally months. Yeah, let's get right to NBC 10's Lauren Melendez, who's live at Logan Airport with more on how these families will be transferred into the state's new aid system, Lauren. Guys, how the transfer in is really going to be dependent upon everybody's individual needs. I mean, we're talking about counselors showing up, physical transportation, but you said it perfectly. Bottom line, the state shelter system, it is full. Governor Mar Healy made that announcement about a, a week and a half ago when she said that this would be the last day families could live here, literally at Logan Airport. And I want to show you, by the way, the area here, Terminal E, where they've been staying, it is a lot less crowded than we've seen weeks ago. This is a result of the state's efforts to transition these families seeking asylum and a refuge here in Massachusetts into emergency shelters or at least into the state's new uh, safety net system. This includes the former Norfolk prison. That's been repurposed to house at least 150 families for about nine months maximum. Beyond that, though, clearing Logan Airport is going to be a very layered, all-hands-on-deck approach. Faith-based organizations are going to have to step up, charities, and quite frankly, guys, anyone else willing to help. They will have case managers on site guiding people in terms of what they need to do. I do not, I don't believe that they will let, leave people without being placed that night. So that's Gladys Vega from La Collaborativa. That's a Chelsea-based organization really at the front lines assisting families who need shelter. Again, we do expect to see those case managers arriving in the morning as it progresses. But again, this Logan Airport clearing, I have to emphasize, this is about increasing safety for the people who work here, for the travelers who come in and out. But more paramount from the state's emergency assistance director is really not safe for the families who are here. So we expect to see some transition as the morning progresses. It's very early still, of course. As that happens, we'll update you as well. Reporting live here at Logan, I'm Lauren Melendez, NBC10 Boston.